Hey, so today I'm going to be making a painting in honor of the Horror Pops going back on tour. For years I've really wanted to see them play, but unfortunately I never got a chance. Uh, although over the years I have been pretty lucky, I have gotten to see Kim Nackerman play with the Nackermantics. And I've actually seen them um, a few times, and one time he actually yelled in my face uh, during a song, so it was really, <laughs> really sick. Um, but every show I always make the joke of where's Patricia D? And me and my buddies would talk about how great it would be to see the Horror Pops play. My best friend's actually seen them, so he tends to rub it in my face sometimes. Uh, <laughs> that I haven't. So naturally, when the 2020 tour was announced, I rushed to get my tickets. And I'm super glad that I did because I have seen them at the Nile Theater here in Mesa, Arizona. And the show actually sold out a while ago. So I was really happy <laughs> to have gotten the tickets as soon as I was able to. Um, but now, now that we're in the days leading up to the show, I really wanted to do something, something special to kind of get ready for the show or like do something just leading up to it. So I decided to make a painting of one of my favorite pictures that Patricia has on her Instagram, but I wanted to give it my own vibe. If most of you guys do know me, I am super obsessed with my skeleton leggings and basically anything spooky because I am a little horror punk. So I decided to change it up and make it skeletons and add in my own, my own style. Honestly, I wasn't going to do that at first um, until I actually sat down to start painting. Um, I actually decided that I wanted to go with my new idea because if I didn't, I feel like I wouldn't have been happy with the outcome. Uh, so right as I started recording, I actually started to change the first draft that I had to start including bones. Did run into a few challenges though since this was a lot of last minute changes, uh, but as I continued, it, it did start to come along and I eventually I was actually really happy with what I was doing and it, it I started to see different spots that I can add more detail here and there. Now, I do want to state that I am a super fast painter. Um, I do have a lot of anxiety and I tend to paint super fast. I tend to jump around as well like on the page. I try to just recreate the, best, the picture best that I can. But, you know, sometimes I'm just not happy with a section, so I'll have the same color paint and just jump back over to another spot. So you'll see me jump around a lot. Um, but that's just kind of, I guess, the way my mind sees the picture or just wants to portray it. So I like to use stencils. It just helps make it easier to map the painting out or to make sure the sizes are not too far off. But I do tend to make changes as I go, so if I may have marked something wrong or um, maybe just need to straighten something out, I will go change like change past it. But I do like this to make sense of just as a reference, so I know where everything's going. I really hope you guys liked this video. I had a lot of fun making uh, this painting and I'm really happy with the final product. Uh, tomorrow I am gonna be seeing them play for the first time and you guys bet I am gonna try to find a way to give this to them. I just really like the idea of being inspired by a band and being able to make something and potentially pay them back for like that inspiration with my own art. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. 
and if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel I do post videos every Friday I basically like to paint anything so if you guys do have any tips or want to see something let me know in the comments Thank you.